May you be snatched away from this place! You shall no more dare to deceive, persecute, and torment! As smoke is driven away, as wax melts before the fire, so shall you be driven away, unclean spirit! Silence! Now answer true! Are you demon, man, or woman? No, you are not! Answer me true! Are you a man, woman, or demon? Damn it! No! Just answer! Do as he says, unless you want a broken rest. Demon! Your power over her mind is waning! Release her now! Release her before I am forced to destroy you! Remember! You are human! Remember! Tell us, before the demon regains control, your name. Tell us your name! Did you hear that, evil spirit? She knows herself. She is yours no longer. Now your past. Tell me something about your past. Your profession! Quick! Yes! She's beginning to remember! Night after night, you pour drinks and help people forget their troubles. You give them the strength to push forward, to prevail. Now it's your turn. Take your own advice. Fight it! Remember who you are! Remember! go in myself, but I don't think I can. The first thing they tell you is not to enter a gin joint if you can avoid it. I've gone four years. I can't lose them. Not even that. Thank you. You have no idea. Just talk to him, okay? He practically lives in this place. You know him better than I do. And don't tell your boss I'm out here. I don't think she likes me too much these days. Thank God you're here. Right. I'm the boss. I'm important. I'm supposed to be in control. <sighs> Fuck this. After tonight, I'm done. I quit. It's Jonah. You know Jonah, right? He's lost it. In my bar. And I can't get him out. I thought Logan was a mean drunk, but Jonah? He's worse. He came in here all twitchy and looking scared. He asked for a whiskey and I gave it to him. Then, he started crying. Then, he started screaming. Now he's locked himself in the damn bathroom. I called up his brother Logan, that's what. But it looks like his precious sobriety is more important than helping his brother. But maybe. Look, maybe you can get him out of there. He's always listened to you. Honestly, I'm surprised he's still standing. Look, just get him out the door. He can scream at the rats in the park for all I care. I'll just wait here. Go away, Sammy. Oh, it's you. I just, I just can't. No. No! Shut up! Just stop! I'm sorry. It's, it's not you. You've always been good to me. I know you tried. It just didn't work. Just leave me alone. 
No, no, better I'm alone. It's fitting to do this here, but no, I don't care. You're not here. I can't. I can't. Not till, not till, no. Damn it, no. Just go away. Get out. What did I tell you? You want to cuddle him? Do it when you're not here. But take my advice and stay away from guys like that. I know it's not good for business, but some people just shouldn't drink. Crap like that runs in the family. I should have barred Jonah along with his drunk ass brother. Oh, the key? Yeah, I guess that'll work. Don't look at me like that. You want the truth? I didn't use the key because Jonah's scaring the hell out of me. I was gonna give the key to Logan, but he's a no-show. Guess he'll have to do. I locked that door for a reason. I, I don't think I can do that. They keep talking to me with the begging and bleeding and crying. Can't you hear them? They are so loud. I know it sounds crazy, and I tried to pretend she didn't exist. But now, there are so many, so, so many. I close my eyes, they're there. I try to sleep, they're there. I tried to drink, they are still here. It got so bad, my boss fired me. Me, just like they fired my brother. It just keeps getting worse. I can't make them go away. There are dozens of them. Hundreds. They're surrounding me, surrounding you. I can't stop them. All I can do is join them. Yes, I do. I have to join the army of the dead. The only way to do that is to die. Yeah, they started coming about a month ago. First goes Kay, a little girl. She told me I was chosen. Then I started seeing more and more everywhere. They won't leave me alone. If I have to die to make it stop, then so be it. I know. I know. I'm a coward. I've been working up to it. Trying. Counting back from ten. And starting over. I don't want to die, man. I, I don't want to die. Why is this happening? No kidding. Maybe that's all it is. Stress. Maybe my bro's got the right idea. Maybe I should join the program? Here, just take it. Thanks. You and Sammy, man. You've always been good to me. And this book, you can take this too. Because I was desperate, okay? It's about spirits and ghosts and stuff. It had techniques to make them go away, but I think it's just made it worse. Take it, will you? I just don't want to look at it. Right. Let's go. I owe Sammy an apology. Was that a gunshot? To Jonah? Your chosen vessel remembers. You are no longer welcome, wicked spirit. The hands you control will no longer do your bidding. In the name of myself, my witness, and the soul whom you hold captive, I cast you out! Gotcha! Ah! Eli! back! Jeez, Mandy, put that sword away. The spirit is gone. That lady's harmless. See? She doesn't even remember how she got here. Looks like her memory got scrambled during the exorcism. Scrambled? What? It happens. I apologize for the threat. It has been a long night. Please, come with us, and we will explain everything. Thank you. 
gratitude at least. This way, please. Look, she's a... We've had a rough night. Go easy on us, okay? Just come on downstairs. When you're ready, we'll explain everything. We're the good guys. Honest. Do take your time. Soak it all in. So, how is that memory of yours? Anything spring to mind? A small mercy, perhaps. For you, at least. These innocents, innocents of the city who I have sworn to protect, were destroyed by your hands. I'm afraid you could, and, uh, you did. You were possessed by some kind of demon. It made you do things. You do not remember? One year ago, you murdered that man Jonah in cold blood, and that bartender. Your body did, if that's what you mean. That bar's been a condemned site ever since. The story was top news for weeks. Every district in the city was searching for you. As were we. And it is fortunate that we found you first. These people on the floor, torn apart using your bare hands. The rain washed away most of the blood from your hands, but it will always be there, whether you can see it or not. Oh, yeah, well, you're welcome. I'm just sorry we didn't get to you sooner. Yes, your demon self proved elusive, but your gratitude is appreciated. Listen to me. These feelings you've got right now, the guilt, the anger, hold on to that. It means you're human. You'll need that going forward. Speaking of going... Yeah, we need to scoot. Did you put up a veil, Mandana? I did, and it will confuse the police long enough for us to get away, but we should not tarry. I'd love to chat and get to know you better, but we need to vamoose. Fresh air at last. A padlock. Of course. Can you pry it off? I am tired, Eli. My strength ebbed hours ago. Perhaps she can help us. Could you find something to pry this off? Yeah, anything big or heavy should do. You've got to be kidding me. This place... much has changed. Preacher! Who are you and what is your purpose here? Purpose? You invited me. You're mistaken. I was summoned across the void... by you. I say again, you are mistaken. You know I speak the truth. That was creatively done. Um, yeah. Nice work. Look, lady. Under most circumstances, I would have been happy to burn that guy to a crisp. But my magic's tapped out. I used it all up saving you. And she returned the favor to both of us. <sighs> Such agony. What matter of pain is this? It hurts 
unlike anything I've ever experienced. Please, I got hit by lightning 20 minutes ago. Don't be such a baby. I... That stench. It can't be. You, a demon spawn on this plane? The corruption is still thick within you. Why do you come here to torment me? There is no demon. I got rid of it. You are a fool. The corruption lingers. Creature, you are at our mercy. Return home through the void at once. You know I cannot. I used all my energy to get here. I will not survive the return journey without food. I must feed on human flesh. In this world, nothing else will sustain me. Only on this plane of existence. I do not believe it has a choice. What? That's... Ugh. Does the demon spawn speak true? There is meat inside this building? Yes. Yes, there is. Slaughtered only hours ago. Fresh meat. That is perfect. Let me consume my fill, and I will leave you in peace. I... I do not think I can do that. It would draw too much attention. The police are bound to notice. Not to mention the victims inside are innocent. They have families, loved ones. They'll want closure. I am innocent too, Mageling. You summoned me. I merely answered. Would you kill me just for that? It speaks true, Eli. What is your decision? Wait, you're putting this on me? Yes. I... I'm not the one that has to cut that thing's throat. I can't decide that for you. Yes. It is the most... practical solution. Ugh, I'm gonna be sick. Rise, creature. Eat your fill and be gone. Are you finished? Please, please, please be finished? Yes. I believe I can make the return journey and survive. Thanks be to you, Jin Child, Mage, Demon Spawn. I shan't trouble you again. It is done. It is over. Thank God. Let's get out of here. All in all, this was eventful. Yeah, eventful. We did fine work this night. We all did. Agreed. You showed immense fortitude, especially for one in your... situation. Ah, uh, yeah. About that. Let me. One year has passed since your possession. You were wanted by the police for many violent crimes. You certainly can't go back to that bar of yours. Indeed. Although, I could certainly use a drink after tonight. The demon that infested you? That creature we just defeated? Mere taste of what is out there. And they just keep coming. We need manpower. Look, you saw us in action tonight. It's obvious we need all the help we could get. Just as it is obvious your old life is gone. But we can help. We can give you a new identity. A new life. A new purpose. Normally there's a vetting process, but you more than proved yourself tonight. So, what say you? Will you join us? Thank God. Some new blood at last. Uh, sorry. That sounded much less creepy in my head. We are all tired. We can find suitable sleeping arrangements back at our headquarters. Sleeping sounds great. By the way, my name's Eli. This is Mandana. Welcome to the Unavowed, my friend. Trust me, your life will never be the same. Did you sleep well? 
You are lucky. Many report having strange dreams when they sleep here for the first time. Introduction to the supernatural world can often have unpredictable effects on the mundane mind. It may take some time for you to process it all. Forgive the term. No insult is intended, I assure you. After your actions last night, the word mundane hardly applies to you. I think you are going to make this transition just fine. And this is good, because there is so little time to waste. My father Kalash is waiting to speak to you in the room beyond the red drapes. When you are ready, seek him out. In the meantime, relax and explore the facility. I will be here if you have any questions. Yes? I do not know. I am not being facetious. I honestly do not know. This building has housed many agents over the centuries, and they too have been given gifts, photographs and portraits of loved ones, precious possessions long since lost. We do not question it. We merely accept it and be thankful for it. Last night, yes, you gave us quite the chase. We know nothing about the demon that was inside you, but it was a wily thing. You hurt nobody. Your demon hurt several. It was taunting us, dancing just out of our reach, slaughtering whomever it could. But we got it in the end. Regardless of what happens next, we stopped it. We can all take comfort in that. Certainly. What is your question? We are peacekeepers. We protect the mundane world from the threats of the supernatural. We help who we can, destroy ones we must, and recruit those who are willing. With you, I suppose we did all three. As a whole, for thousands of years. But the New York branch is only 400 years old. As long as there is need of us, we will be here. We do not exactly advertise our presence. We prefer it that way. But the truth is, the last century has seen a diminishing need for our services. Things have certainly changed. Yes, supernatural threats have been escalating. It happened so suddenly we were caught unprepared. We had become complacent. We have not been recruiting. You are the first new recruit in decades. The first of many, we hope. I will do my best to answer. Me? What do you want to know? The term is Jin. And yes, on my father's side. And no, I do not grant wishes. When was this city founded? 1624. Yes, I was just a child, but it was around that time. 418. No, 19. My birthday was last month. It is difficult to keep track, but Father always remembers. Thank you. surprise a fire mage like that. <laughs> Bad idea. Anyway, hi. You settling in okay? Yeah, I guess it kind of is. Where else can you see a guy throw fire without paying for it? But seriously, it took me a while to get used to this stuff. It's not gonna happen for you overnight, but you'll get there faster than you think. Anyway, I'm sure you want to walk around. I'll be here if you have any questions. I don't see why not. I know a little bit about that. What do you want to know? Well, we're sort of supernatural police. Sometimes there's a threat that only we can handle, and we go and handle it. Well, I say sometimes, but lately it's been a lot more than that. Gosh, uh, a really long time? Sorry. If you're looking for a history lesson, Mandana or Kalash are the ones to ask. As far as I'm concerned, we do good work. That's all that matters. You know, I wondered the same thing when I first joined. I mean, we're careful. We use veils. I don't throw fire around Times Square or anything. But the real secret, nobody notices us. It's kind of uncanny. 
mundanes go through crazy mental tricks to pretend we're not there. So maybe the mundane world isn't ready for us yet, but they will be. They won't have a choice the way things are going. Let me put it this way. There are 732% more threats than there used to be, give or take 0.5. A year ago, we'd usually be called out once a month, if at all. Now it's almost every day. And me and Mandana, we're the only ones dealing with it. Until now, anyway. Sure. I guess if we're gonna work together, we should know each other. Ask away. Since the Nixon administration, I'm, uh, older than I look. If you must know, I'm 92. It's the magic. Keeps me young. No surgery required. Yeah, it... It is what it is, okay? I'm a mage. We live long lives. And a story. Why do you think? Fire mage here. I could easily burn this place to the ground if I'm not careful. I needed a place to practice, and a room insulated with stone was the obvious choice. Besides, I don't feel the cold, so it's quite cozy down here. Ooh, never use the word wizard. It's a social faux pas or something. I'm a mage, with a capital M. The capital is also important. At least that's what the books tell me. I never actually met another mage to find out. Nope, kind of tingles, but that's it. It's kind of like playing with light, at least when it touches my flesh. Clothes, though? I can burn them clear off and I won't even notice. Took about a decade and a dozen indecent exposure arrests before I managed to make my clothes fireproof. Sure. You had time to process it? I know I have. To be honest, I'm just glad the exorcism worked. It took four days of concentration to prepare that spell. I gave it everything I had. Well, yeah. When you deal with demons, you don't leave anything to chance. Not to mention lightning. If I hadn't prepared, it could have fried you. Not to mention me. I just wish I hadn't summoned that... thing. I know the creature was technically blameless, but I'm still not sure we made the right call. Still. I suppose it's too late now. Look, I really wanted to get some practice in. Maybe next time. Huh, you too, huh? Wasn't long after I joined up that my first photo appeared. Scared the hell out of me. It's something to do with this building. It wants you to remember who you are. Who you were. Don't think about it too hard. I've been here 50 years and I still don't know how it works. Right. See you around. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're the new one, aren't you? Nobody joins the unavowed girl. We serve it. We are the wall against the darkness. As for me, I am Kalash. I am a Jinn of the Ancient Kingdom, and I run this branch of the Unavowed. And you? You were possessed. How'd you let that happen? You picked up that book, didn't you? Exercised that precious free will of yours? Yes, as I thought. <laughs> In my day, even a newborn babe had wits enough to leave books of demonic evil alone. Mundanes today don't know they're born. The world has gotten soft, needs toughening up. How tough are you, new girl? Idiots and bullies whose minds were dulled by drink. No, no. You have yet to experience your true crucible, but it will come. Oh yes, it will come. At any rate, we have much to discuss and much to do. Settle in, talk to the others, get the lay of the land. I will call our meeting when you are ready. Hmm? What is it? You ready to start the meeting? I might know a thing or two about that. We're the wall against the darkness, the protectors of the mundane world. We might not be what we once were, but we are here. And that is all that matters. Nobody knows for sure. Not even I. But this branch is exactly 393 years old. I know because I founded it. <laughs> That's gratitude for you. 
Used to be, you mundanes would beg us for help if a cat looked at you funny. But yes, I won't deny it. Supernatural threats became fewer and further between over the last century. There was little reason for mundanes to think of us at all. But things have changed. Yes, this city was becoming a force to be reckoned with, with the supernatural forces to match. There was important work to be done. I volunteered, and here I am still. Yes, supernatural threats have risen, exponentially. It's been difficult to contain. We need to fill our ranks. You are the first in a long line of many, I hope. Well, spit it out. I do not indulge in idle gossip. If you want to know of someone, ask them. Not now. My opinion will be given during the meeting, rest assured. Indeed, the time for waiting is past. Father, you met our latest recruit? Yes. I admit she doesn't look like much, but we'll see what this life makes of her. We were all neophytes once, Collage. Most of us, Mage Beckett. Most of us. I have read the reports on your last mission. Mage Beckett, is it true you summoned a Void Creature? Yes, by accident, I swear. Irrelevant. Magic is unpredictable. I understand this. What I don't understand is why you let it feed on human corpses. What will the mundane authorities think when they find tooth marks on the victims, hmm? The creature was both a danger and an innocent. We reached a compromise, that is all. We'll be the ones compromised if the two of you aren't more careful. That may be, but you had no authority over them. It was their choice to make. Father, regardless of our choices, the Void Creature is gone. We have a more pressing concern. Yes, you let the demon escape. Your mission was a failure. Well, if nobody's gonna speak up, I will. It was my fault. I was so close. I had it contained, but it was stronger than I expected. I see. This is becoming distressingly commonplace. Nevertheless, Eli speaks the truth. We underestimated the threat. Then that will have to be sufficient. And now to the next item at hand. Your next mission. You don't say much, do you? Well, that needs to change, starting right now. I have detected void activity in the East Village, somewhere close to Aster Place. You are to travel there, determine the cause of the disturbance, and neutralize it. It means do whatever it takes. Are you sure she's ready to go out into the field so soon? These are dangerous times. Dark forces are coming. We don't have the time for traditional training. If she isn't able to handle it immediately, we might as well kill her now. Trial by fire. Sink or swim. Do or die. You want to prove yourself to the unavowed, you girl? Now is your chance. Meeting adjourned. Well, I guess that settles that. I know, right? If anyone's gonna do a fire pun, it should be me. Anyway. We're ready when you are. Looks like the K-Train is down. Again. Eli, the K-Train was discontinued in 1988. Was it? I could swear I took it to the Museum of Natural History not too long ago. You did, in 1986. So, I guess we won't be taking the K-Train. No, we will not. Hmm. Still raining. At least nothing's here waiting to kill us. Well, the night is young.
You seem troubled. Is something the matter? Whatever for, you have nothing to fear. Not with the veil in place. Yeah, it became active when you signed up with us. It just disguises your identity. Anyone looking at you sees slightly different features. You are not the first new recruit to arrive with... complications in the mundane world. The veil prevents awkwardness all around. Just think of it as a perk of membership. In a sense, the veil only works on mundanes. Supernatural beings and the Void Touch can see through it easily, but that law enforcement officer? He will pose no threat. Very good. Let us proceed. Evening, ma'am. Yeah, you could say that. Wouldn't be here if I had the choice, believe me. Who wants to know? Yeah, no kidding. This job can really take it out of you sometimes. I'll tell you one thing. You see a lot of bad people in this line of work, but it takes a special kind of nasty to torture homeless shelter. That's how we're treating it. Until we know otherwise, we're treating it like a crime scene. Which means, stay back. Yeah, a neighborhood full of corporate chains and they attacked this place. Was anyone hurt? A few people killed. A lot of people with second or third degree burns. That is horrible. I won't argue with that. I was here when the rescue team arrived. They were carted off to Beth Israel Hospital. The people here, they don't exactly have medical insurance. I don't blame you. See ya. Hey, are you all right? You look a little... Where are you taking me? I'll do whatever you want. Just help me, please. Did you see that? I did. Neuromorphic projection. I've read the theories, but never thought. I think she's coming out of it. Are you all right? You seem okay. I mean, you didn't hit your head or anything. You had a vision. We saw it as well. A vision from your past. Well, your demon's past, technically. This area must have kick-started your brain into remembering. There was some psychic spillover. We could see it too. Yeah, psychic runoff. Try not to think about it too hard. This building the demon entered, it used to house the village eye. The newspaper? Didn't it go out of business a few years ago? Indeed it did. What was your demon self doing here? Agreed. We are wasting time. Right. Enough jabbering. Let's go. <sighs> well, that just figures, doesn't it? It is done. Be aware that if law enforcement questions me, I am compelled to tell the truth. <clears throat> it smells very... human in here. Looks like people were squatting here. Half a dozen at least. Wasn't there a homeless shelter around the corner? Why live here? It could be pride. Or perhaps they gathered here for a specific purpose. I'm guessing it wasn't a slumber party. Huh. Only one bed in here. Yes. This room was des- What have you got there? An old fuse? Seems to still be intact. I might not know a lot about those things, but don't they need electricity to work? I don't think the power's on in this place.
not be alarmed. That was just a lost spirit. What you would call a ghost. They are harmless. Good. You adjust quickly. Death is part of the mundane world. We do not get involved. Let us move forward. Ow! God damn it! Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. I tripped over. I have no idea. Can't see a damn thing. That's weird. Come on! Is there a problem? The darkness. It's fighting the light. It always does. I'm being literal. Whatever's down here, it's interfering with my magic. Color me gobsmacked. It's a forest. A forest in a basement. Well, that explains why my fire's so weak down here. Probably a natural defense mechanism for whatever this is. Well, this just got a lot more complicated. Male. Early to mid-sixties, I believe. The cause of death is difficult to determine. He's got vines growing out of him. If it was, I do not believe it is contagious. Your vision. You were familiar with this building. Whatever happened here, you were involved. Or at least your demon self was. You don't remember anything. No other visions spring to mind. Well, it was worth a shot. No doubt your demon covered its tracks well before leaving your mind. So, who is he? He has no distinguishing marks. He carries no identification. Whoever this is, it remains a mystery. It is a lost spirit. It cannot communicate. Are you sure about that? It does appear agitated. Let us leave it be. Do these drawings on the wall mean anything to you, Mangana? I cannot decipher their meaning, but I do get a sense of reverence. This wall drawing means nothing to me, Eli? Hey, you alright? That computer nearly shocked you. Most curious. I wonder why it did that. Huh, beats me. Guess we'll never know. Where... where did you get that? The village I... I know what you're talking about. That is an obvious lie. Do I look like I care? Just leave me alone. I might not look it, but I'm fine. Tell everyone that Wendy is fine. You don't need to come out here and... Wait, it's you, isn't it? You've come back. Don't patronize me. I know who you are. You're the master. You really think I'm stupid, don't you? You've done something to your face. You've changed it somehow, but I can tell. It's you. Curious. She can see past the veil. She must be void touched. What touched? Void touched. It means I don't give a crap what it means. And I don't give a crap about you either, master. Just leave me alone. I already know you're good at that. Why should I? Hmm. 
Look, maybe you care, and maybe you don't. But it doesn't matter. Not anymore. Not after the way you left us. So get out of here. Take your new followers, and go. Wait, followers? You heard me. You... what? You're serious, aren't you? You didn't just leave us, you forgot about us. It's a bit more complicated than that, but yes. We are trying to piece together what happened. Can you help us? No, it's done. It's over. If you've forgotten about it, then maybe I can too. Just leave me alone. That, that's crazy. You're crazy. You can't prove a damn thing. I mean, whatever. Don't know a thing about it. You really don't remember anything, do you? You've even forgotten Jordan, your precious protege. Well, he's gone. No thanks to you. What do I mean? You left. Left us to fend for ourselves, and it all went to shit. Me, I'm back where I started. Others aren't so lucky. You never cared, did you? All that time, I knew it. I just didn't want to believe it. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Don't talk about it. Don't even think about it. Just don't. He and I were a thing, kind of. I, I don't know. We're nothing anymore. He's gone. He left soon after you. He's probably dead. Not that you care. Please, don't come back. Just so we are clear, we are not calling you Master. Blood rituals used for healing. That is perverse and wrong. It may be wrong, but it does explain the forest downstairs. It's unspent life energy. It created excess life. Beauty can hide all manner of evil, Eli. You know this more than anyone. Oh, it's uh, nothing. <laughs> Just a little run in with a golem and a succubus that got a. A uh, story for another time? Right. <laughs> Blood rituals, dark magic, bad stuff. Yes, Eli. Bad stuff. If I understand that journal right, the ritual stopped working when the, uh, <clears throat> master left. Which means that only you, or rather your demon, could perform it. Then why leave Jordan in charge? That's a good question. One more reason to track it down. In the meantime, I really want to know more about this ritual. After you... I 
knew I should have tossed that computer. Oh, the cat's out of the bag now. You proud of yourself, master? Hell, you weren't. You were the one who taught us. You took us all in. You saved us, I guess. Maybe. Every month you'd do the ritual. You'd cut one of us. You'd bleed on the altar. Then you'd say those words, and we'd heal. Better, stronger, faster than before. It was like a drug. Life energy. That's what you were being fed. That explains the wildlife in the basement. It must be residual life magic. Whatever it was, it felt good. You're talking like you were separate people. Jordan was so happy when you put him in charge. He tried. He really did. He just got too sick. Whatever you did to us, the healing, it stopped working when you left. So he put me in charge. Me. And I just made things worse. He loved me. He trusted me to do the right thing and do right by everyone. I didn't expect I would... that I... I cut with a knife. I said those stupid words again and again and again. It didn't work, so I had to try harder. The murdered man in the basement. You took the blood ritual too far. It was an accident, I swear. Yes, I put him on the altar. I took the knife and I killed him. I was nervous, I guess. I thought that was the end of it, but then... His spirit. It came back. It was horrible. He couldn't stay. Every time it saw us, it would scream. Yes, and so I came here. I don't want to be around people anymore. You speak the truth. You believe me. Hooray. It is not a matter of belief. I simply know what truth is. Thank you for sharing it with us. There's no point in lying anymore, is there? The master here was just as much involved as me. Something tells me you aren't going to turn her in. You think I'm an idiot? I tossed it down a storm drain. What? Why did you do that? What do you think? It's probably halfway to Jersey by now, and good riddance. Cerebral palsy on my left side. It was bad before. I could barely handle sewer duty. It's much worse now. You seriously don't remember? The pipes in the building leaked. Overflow from the sewer, it was disgusting. You couldn't exactly call a plumber, so you made us go into the sewer and drain it from there. And down there so much, Jordan had to swipe a key to the control panel. You serious? We never wanted to bother with that before. But whatever. It's to the right of the control panel. Behind one of the pipes. Don't do me any favors. This mess is yours, master. Do whatever you like. I was lucky I never would have met you in the first place. She threw the knife down a storm drain. Damn it. I can't blame her, but damn it. Magically imbued tools take weeks to make. I really hope to study it. Are you listening with your knees? Yes. Racing. Fortuitous that I have kept up my training. At least the rain is washing away most of the smell. Uh! Be careful. The heat in this room is kind of off the scale. Eli Beckett. Mage, accountant, and plumber. And sometimes all three. Huh. Looks like Wendy was right. Please. 
I know. I failed you. I couldn't leave them. I, I was too weak. I tried. I tried so hard, but it was just too much. That's so kind, Master. But even if I didn't fail you, I still failed myself and everyone else. Do you remember, Master, how you found me? Frozen half to death on the street? I almost died. You saved me. You healed me. You brought me back from certain death. That was no demon. It was you. You were so kind. You showed me how to heal. We were going to heal the entire city. But I couldn't do it without you. When you left, the power left too. The chill, the cold, it came back. I couldn't stop it. It just got worse and worse. I couldn't heal myself, let alone anyone else, so I left. I had to find something, anything that could help me get warm again. It's not your fault, Master. Don't blame yourself. You warned me about that spell. I didn't listen. But I was so desperate. I was freezing to death. The bed in that homeless shelter wasn't warm enough. You taught me a spell that would let warmth into my heart. So I spoke it. Then this happened. Yes. They were the only ones who would take me in. No, you misunderstand. The shelter it burned to the ground. Was... was anyone hurt? Do you really think I can be helped? I don't deserve it. I know I don't, but if there's any chance, help me before I hurt anyone else. Anything you want. I've been trying, but the fire is different. It's self-generating, self-sustaining. Even submerging himself in water couldn't snuff him out. I've never seen anything like it. I need to know more about his condition before I can even attempt a cure. The knife? You mean your knife? Yes, I saw it fall down here. I took it. I hid it. Just in case you ever came back. Could you get it for us? I'd love to study it. I... Suppose, after you helped me? I didn't want to leave them. Wendy, least of all. She leads them now. She's keeping them all safe. She... she what? Why would she do that? Standard escalation. More blood, more power. I want this to end. Please, just let it all end. Master, this is all too much. I served you, faithfully, then you left when I needed you the most. How do I know you won't leave again? Cure me, help me, do that and I will get the knife for you gladly. Thank you, Master. Poor guy. He played with powerful magic he had no business using. He hurt dozens of innocents. He was desperate. He made a human mistake. In that, we are in agreement. Evening, ma'am. Um, no. In case it wasn't clear, this is a crime scene. Which means, stay back. Oh, really? Give me one reason. Well, no, I don't. What makes you say that? The rain isn't helping, that's for sure. You ever feel helpless, powerless? Like there's too much shit going on and you can't do a damn thing about it? Then you know what I'm talking about. I'm an officer of the law. I'm supposed to be out there doing something. Not stuck behind a desk, or here doing guard duty. I know I could make a difference if I was just given a damn chance. You? You're going to do something about it. 
You're serious, aren't you? Yeah, you are. You really think you can help? Jesus, I must be crazy. I must be insane. But something. I don't know what. Something tells me I can trust you. Get inside. And quickly. I'll give a shout if someone comes by. Just get the guy who did this. I begin to understand why you were hired as a barkeep. Yeah. You had him eaten out of the palm of your hand. You have an enviable gift for empathy. We will discuss this later. Let us find what we came for. Come on. Melt! Is everything all right? Everything's fine. It's just something inside is fighting back. There! Nicely done. That's me, Eli Beckett. Enemy of ice. Well, that's definitely our cold source, all right. Hmm. Now that it's out of the open air, the warm rain is coming down. I should be able to... Jesus! Look at that. Not a burn mark on him. The ice protected him from the fire? It also froze him to death, but if you want to get technical, sure. It protected him from the fire. Uh, maybe. It's hard to tell, you know, with all the frostbite and things. I admit, he does look slightly recognizable, but as to whom, I cannot say. Yes, I'm as surprised as you are. The quality of that photo isn't so great, but it's definitely the same guy. The evidence is undeniable. Jordan sought a way to remove the cold invading his body. It appears he failed. No, we would not have been able to converse with it if so. We spoke to Jordan, not a lost spirit. At least, not one in the traditional sense. His soul transmuted escaped his body and became something else. He is alive, just no longer human. He's become a fire elemental, a spirit bound to a body of flame. No, no he can't. And even if we could, his human body is dead. There's nothing for him to go back to. Regardless, we cannot allow a fire elemental to run loose in the city sewers. Stranger things have happened. But yeah, talking it over is the way to go. We should hear Jordan out before deciding anything anyway. Whatever you found in there, don't tell me about it. Deniability and all that. Just find the guy who did this. Eli? You are scratching the buttons of your coat again, with your fingernail. I am. Yes. You are not even aware of it, are you? Uh, why is this a big deal? It indicates a loss of control. It is minimal, but... Right. I know. I'll work on that. Thank you. Master? You did? What did you find? I... what? I'm dead? No, uh, not exactly. You're a fire elemental now. You're alive, you're just in a new body. A body made of flame. That's why the flames are self-sustaining. You aren't on fire, you are fire. So, there's no cure? Oh, um, no. Your human body is dead. There's no getting around that. But you're kind of immortal now. That's something, isn't it? You mean I have to live like this forever? Um, yeah. 
You should have left me in the cold, Master! You should have left me to die! <sighs> yes, there is. I'm a fire mage. I can control and channel fire. Given enough time, I can remove the fire from your spirit. Eli, what you're proposing... ...will be incredibly painful, I know. Painful?! It will feel like being skinned alive. But it will kill me? Eventually. Then I'll do it! No. No, it is not. I will not allow you to do this. Not when there is another way. Another way? There are others of your kind. Fire elementals. A whole world of them. Yeah. In another dimension, across the void. How do you propose to get him there? Jordan is a creature of spirit now which means he can traverse the void. I can lend him the energy required and show him how to open the way. So he can, what, spend eternity with fire people? Wait, eternity? It is a one-way trip, Jordan. Life there will not be easy, but perhaps you can find a home there, a life. But what kind of life would that be? E what? No. His flames are the source of his energy, and will provide most of the fuel required. I will lend him the rest. The effect on me will be minimal. I will recover. Sure. On an alien world. In an alien dimension. All alone. I... I can't! This is all too much! Master, I know you've done your best! Whatever you decide, I will do! There will be others of his kind. In time, they might accept him. Yes! Yes! Master, you are right! Maybe this is what was meant to be! Maybe you saved me that night for this very reason! Maybe I have some purpose to fulfill in this new dimension! Okay! I am ready! You two should wait above ground. I will help him transfer across the void. I guess he's on his way by now. Off to his new life. Assuming you can call it life. You think we did the right thing? A chance is better than nothing? Maybe. But to live through eternity without seeing another human being? I couldn't take it. I know that much. I've seen pictures of fire dimensions. They look like hell. Literally. I know what I am. I'm not entirely normal. But I know that I'm human. I know that I'm me. If I lose that, then I lose everything. So, is he...? Yes, he has gone through the void. No, nor should he. He posed a danger to this city, the entire world. At the very least, he is out of harm's way. He did retrieve the ritual knife for me before he left. Well, that's something. I'll study it back at the lab. I know the routine. I shall call ahead and have pizza delivered. It's like you read my mind.